Well, in other news, one Central Illinois man is being called a hero after he saved two toddlers from a house fire along with dogs. We told you on Tuesday that this house went up in flames in Springfield and could have been a lot worse if the Good Samaritan hadn't stepped in to help. WCI 3's Theodore Colavaris will introduce us to him. Dan Falconer is a maintenance man and a property manager. This past Monday will be a day on the job he will never forget. Falconer was working on a house on Reservoir Street in Springfield when he noticed something happening at the house across the street. I came in, I pulled in and looked through my rearview mirror and I seen a small fire on the front porch over here. And I thought, well, maybe they're just lighting up a grill. But the fire grew and the flames consumed it, turning the house into a massive fireball. I called 911 and was talking to them when a 15-year-old came out in the front of the house. And I asked her if there was anybody else in the house, and she said, yes, there's a one-year-old and a four-year-old in the back. So instead of running away from the burning building or waiting for firefighters, he and a neighbor and went in, breaking a window at the back of the house. A little bit of panic. I said, you know, I felt, you know, for those kids, we got to get those kids out because, you know, I'd hate to be in that situation where I lose kids because of the fire. And I was afraid the fire department was going to get here in time. That's the reason I went ahead and went around the back and got the kids out. They managed to save the two toddlers, along with two dogs trapped inside the house. I just saved two kids out of a fire. Falconer says the family was grateful for his actions. And she thanked me, you know, and uh, she was getting in a panic stage about her house being on fire. And, um, they sat there and watched the fire get put out. And many in the community are calling Falconer's actions heroic. No, no, I, I would think anybody in my situation would have done the same thing, but, you know, I didn't even think about that. I just want to get those kids out. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Theodora Kulavars. Just goes to show heroes don't always wear capes, and no one was hurt in this fire, but the cause is still under investigation. However, the Springfield Fire Department does suspect arson. They believe it was a set fire.